As officials investigate the causes of the Itaewon tragedy, South Koreans are asking whether it wasn't preventable. Experts say the biggest problem is that there is no law covering safety measures for events without an official host, like Halloween. They also point to a lack of safety education in schools. Our Kim bo Gyeong tells us more. Manuals and laws were in place, but with loopholes in them, they could not prevent the deadly Halloween crowd crush at Itaewon. There is a Management of Disasters and Safety Act that requires festival hosts to submit a plan for safety to the local government ahead of the actual event. Once the safety plan is submitted, the law calls for local governments to cooperate fully with the police and the fire department to review and implement it. However, the law does not apply to events that do not have a specific host that can be held accountable for accidents, which was the case in Itaewon. The fireworks festival hosted earlier this month by Hanwha Group drew a crowd of around 1 million to the financial district of Yeoido. In this instance, however, there was a specific host, Hanwha Group, which enabled the city of Seoul to set up a safety headquarters with the police and fire department. Experts say this shows there should be a law requiring local governments to manage events that do not have specific hosts as well. There was no host this time. There was no event held by the district of Yongsangu. There was no mechanism for controlling or managing the festival. The police, too, their main job is to maintain public order, not to manage events. So there was no way to control anything. Other countries, such as Japan and the United States, do take measures to prevent accidents during Halloween. In Shibuya, Tokyo, posters asking people to maintain public order had been up for a month, and hundreds of police were on site. New York City, too, blocked off traffic on hundreds of streets and deployed more police. It is important to have safety measures in place before events are held, but experts say another thing that should not be overlooked is safety education. In the U.S., safety education is mandatory until high school and it's part of the regular curriculum until high school in the U.K. too, focusing more on actual drills. Japan and Germany as well, but South Korea does not do proper safety education after elementary school, and even at that level, it's mostly theoretical or presented through videos. To ensure the Itaewon tragedy is not repeated, the first step is to make sure there are proper laws for festivals when they are not hosted by anyone in particular and to provide safety education to students for longer into their school years. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.